How's it going everyone? Today I brought a new microphone into the video and because of that I've decided also to make this video regarding Python, whether it makes sense to learn it in 2024 or whether it even makes sense to learn it for the future. As you might know, there's a lot of AI going on around on the internet, there's ChatGPT, there's that Llama stuff, there's a lot going on and each time we see it we kind of wonder when are we going to be made obsolete as programmers? The marketing is going just so hard in AI. Even your microwave probably has AI by now. Or I mean, if you went to the store, you'd probably see some things with AI, like a football. Even a football probably has some intelligent AI that can determine how you kick the ball. What does that actually mean? I have no idea and probably most people have no idea either. But the point is that now we have AI everywhere. It is the hot word, just like machine learning was not so long ago. We have AI written everywhere, whether it's on your food, whether it's on a computer, whether it's in your phone, AI is everywhere. So it kind of makes sense that a lot of programmers are getting scared, especially the newer ones who don't really know much about programming just yet. If you were to use some sorts of AI to generate some code, I would have to say that it kind of feels like hiring a very junior programmer. It makes around the same mistakes as someone who just started programming. But at the moment, if you ever want to create something ultra specific, AI in general doesn't really grasp that concept. I mean, I've used it a lot to make some fun applications on this channel, such as a chatbot, but I was generalizing a lot with what I wanted. When I said I wanted a chatbot, I literally let it do whatever it wanted. However, it wanted to implement the code, it was up to ChatGPT. But as soon as I wanted to create something with a bit more UI, I really couldn't get it to do anything I wanted to. And I'm not saying that that's never going to change. Of course, they're working on AI every day to make it more and more powerful. And that makes the code that it generates a bit more reliable every single day. But going back to the question, what are we supposed to do today? Are we still supposed to learn Python with all of this AI? And my answer to that is yes. I mean, back in the day when people were learning to play chess, there was no AI. I mean, at a certain point, they introduced an AI and that didn't replace the chess players. It just raised the bar for people who could actually compete in playing chess. Now it's not any fool that can play chess. It's actually people who practice nonstop with either an AI or with other players. And that possibly could have been a terrible metaphor for what's going on right now. But all I was trying to say is that we have a lot of AI around us. So all it's doing is raising the entry level, which means, as I said earlier, if you are a junior developer, chances are in the future, you're going to have to work a bit harder or not even harder, but smarter if you want to land a job. But again, going back to whether it makes sense to learn Python or not, I think you absolutely should learn Python. Regardless of all the AI that's coming around, do not be deterred by this marketing. Because right now, yes, it's a big thing, but it's still premature marketing. The AI does a lot of cool stuff, but it's not doing anything just yet in terms of our jobs. It's slowly being introduced everywhere. You'll see it on a lot of websites. It's very good at generating information and images. And I mean, I don't even scroll on Instagram anymore because everything seems to be AI generated. The information, the images, it's just not real anymore. It's not something I enjoy. So it is being used to generate a lot of random content. But in terms of learning Python, I would not see it as a threat. Python is one of the easiest languages in the world to learn. And even if AI can generate the same code you do, using Python is just extremely fast. If you want to create a script that sorts all your files with enough knowledge in Python, you can do that in a matter of minutes. And that's probably the same time it takes for you to go to ChatGPT and to ask it to generate the code you actually want, because now we've entered the age of prompting. So if you actually want a specific task, to be performed by ChatGPT, you're going to have to know what to ask it, which in its own sense is a form of coding, but also once it generates it, very often it's going to have some very weird, very weird sections that you might want to tweak. And instead of asking ChatGPT or whatever AI to tweak that, sometimes it just makes more sense to directly edit it because it's so simple. And I'm not saying we should avoid using AI at all or that we should avoid using it with Python, 
But the thing is that if you do not know Python and you're trying to generate Python code with AI, chances are you're going to get stuck somewhere because it's not always going to be 100% reliable. And being able to understand that code that AI spits out at us is just such an essential part of programming in today's world. But just to sum it up, I absolutely recommend you continue learning Python. There are still plenty of jobs out there. And even if those jobs are slowly changing towards AI oriented programming, Python is one of those languages that is always good to know. It doesn't matter whether it's five years from now, 10 years from now, you're always going to have something to do in Python. Don't feel deterred or put down because yes, AI is scary, but most of it is very heavy marketing. So you still have a lot of time to learn Python and to use it to actually land a job or to create your next website or to even create your very own AI. And the very last thing I want to say today is that yes, it's okay to read the news, to follow all this AI and innovation, but remember to go outside and take a walk and realize that the world does not revolve around AI. A lot of it is marketing. And sometimes it's just important to look around you and see what's actually real. Go outside, go to a restaurant, play basketball with your friends. Remember that there's still real stuff out there. But yeah, I feel like I talked a lot today. I was very excited about using this microphone, but also I would really love to hear what you think about AI today in its current situation, where it's actually heading, whether you think programming is becoming outdated or not, or what you think the future is going to be regarding all of this artificial intelligence. But yeah, that's actually all I wanted to talk about in today's video. I thought it would be fun to actually talk about something more theoretical rather than coding all the time. So I think I'll make these videos every now and then. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.